In today's class we are looking into Population density This refers to the number of people residing per square kilometer, kilometer 2, of the geographical land area of the country. The population density of a country can be expressed mathematically as Population density equals total population or land area. Total population equals population density x land area. Land area equals total population or population density. Population density may either be high or low depending on the number of people residing in a specific area or country. Generally, high population density leads to overpopulation. Similarly, a low population density refers to a situation where there are few people in a specific area or country. Overpopulation This exists when the size of the population is too large in relation to the available resources and level of technology such that output per person falls below the optimum. When this happens, the standard of living falls. Output can be increased by reducing population size. Consequences of overpopulation. Congestion on land. Fall in PCI. High level of unemployment. Excess supply of labor. High level of government spending. Underpopulation. Underpopulation exists when the size of a country's population is too small in relation to the resources and the level of technical knowledge. There will be labor shortages, but abundance of other factors or resources. The standard of living of the people will be low as reflected by the low per capita income, PCI, hence, the country needs more people to exploit its natural resources if its standard of living were to increase. Consequences of underpopulation Existence of abundant resources Low pressure on social amenities Low crime rate Low congestion Inadequate labor force